Hey guys, what's up? It's Adrian Boisel. Today, I want to talk to you guys about an important topic regarding people stealing your work. A lot of people get super upset about this. I've seen it happen to countless designers. It's happened to me. Uh, and I've heard other people talk about it. In fact, I watched a video recently with Chris Doe and he was talking about this and other people stealing your work. So I want to give you guys some advice when it comes to people taking your work, you protecting your work. I'm going to cover a lot of different angles from this. So go ahead and jump in with me. This isn't going to be too long of a video, but I want to make sure you get some good mindset, get some good perspective around the topic and you can walk away with something tangible that you can use with your clients and with just future projects in general. Most importantly, to start this off, I want to really just share with you that Really good design, really good artists are all about replicating the world around us. There is nothing original anymore, especially in the times that we live in. Everything is some sort of replication or clone of something else, something that we were inspired by, something that we saw. Sometimes it's a, it's a conscious thought, sometimes it's a subconscious thought. So I wanna first make sure that you understand that piece is if you think you're the only one with this idea, you're not. So I want you to get over that ego and that pride. You're not the only one with good ideas. There's lots of other people. And what a lot of people do is they replicate things that inspire them. So when you're getting people that are doing this, you're actually getting a compliment from them. And it, you know, one of the most famous uh, artists in the world, Pablo Picasso said, good artists copy, great artists steal. I'm gonna say that one more time. Good artists copy and great artists steal. So if you're an artist and people are replicating your work, you need to take this as a compliment. And there are three things I wanna give you initially here throughout this video that I want you to walk away with right now. Number one is I don't want you to focus any of your valuable time, energy, effort, lawyers, money on them. It's not worth it. You're fighting an uphill battle. It's just not worth your energy, your time. Your time is too precious and too valuable and worth too much to get focused on somebody else trying to replicate. The second one is that nobody can replicate you. People are buying you, not what you're doing. There are amazing artists out there that are honestly better than you are, that are better than I am. There's always going to be somebody better out there, but at the end of the day, what people are buying and what they're purchasing and what they're getting behind is you and your brand that you've built. And if you're showing frustration, if you're getting angry, if you're getting upset because other people are taking your design work and using it, it shows a lack of confidence and a lack of just pride and, and ego or too much pride and too much ego that you have around your work. You're not the greatest in the world. Maybe you're pushing to become that, but you can't get hung up on that. That's only going to take you away and take away your energy from focusing on becoming a lot better of an artist day in and day out. The third thing I want you to think about, and this is just mindset, the things that are between your ears, is remember that imitation is the highest form of flattery. Nowadays, if I see somebody copy my work or use one of my logos or revise one of my logos, I take that as a compliment. I feel very validated and that's what you should feel like too, is you should be validated in the work that you're doing. Now, I'm at the place now where I don't do as much graphic design work as I used to. I mostly just focus on my personal passion projects, designing stuff for the YouTube channel or for my wife's company. But I have artists that I work with and I've seen my artists have their work actually taken and being used in other places. And I even get a little defensive sometimes, but that's natural. But you wanna let that go and just realize you're doing something right if people are replicating your work. A quick example that I think would be really uh, appropriate to share in this video is videos like this. There's a few videos, actually there's a lot of videos that I've recorded because I've recorded over 400 videos now and there have been countless people that have taken my videos, downloaded them and uploaded them to their own YouTube channel to build their own following on YouTube instead of creating their own videos. Now that is straight stealing obviously because they're taking my video, all my time, my energy and my money that I put into them and putting it on their channel and pulling people away. But at the end of the day, it's spreading my message, it's spreading my brand and spreading my name to more people. So I really don't get hung up on that. The only thing I ask of people, and this is what you should be doing too, is if somebody's gonna use your work, at least attribute it back to you. Give you some credit for that work. As long as you're getting credit for that work and it, tie, it leads them back to you, I wouldn't get too upset or hung up on that. So I'm just curious, has this happened to you? Has somebody taken your logo designs? Maybe it's been a client. This is a little bit different now. I wanna make sure I mention this because sometimes clients will steal your work. Maybe your client knows how to use Photoshop and you'll design something and send it over to them and they'll take it and they'll edit it and they'll mess up your work. That right there is unacceptable and that is grounds for firing that client immediately. 
and then you can send them a cease and desist if you want. But when it comes to other artists and other creatives, I wouldn't get hung up on it, but you wanna make sure you protect yourself. And these are expectations that you should be setting with your client up front, whether you put proof over it or you put a password over it or however you send it, you send it in a flattened file. You wanna make sure that you're protecting your work, but at the same time, don't get hung up on it if other people are replicating or copying your work. So the second part of this video that I wanna to talk to you guys about is execution. Now this is really important. Execution is a big key to why I'm no longer intimidated by anybody taking my design work, even clients, because the truth is there are three things that I'm going to do that nobody else can do. The first one is because I'm so passionate, and I'm so motivated and I'm so driven really more than anything is the speed of the work. The time and energy that you'd be focused on worrying about these other people and trying to get them not to copy your work or not replicate your work or throw a fuss about it, you could be taking that to use and be able to create more work faster. It's gonna give you more time back and you're gonna be able to create more speed. And the faster I got at the design, the more efficient I became at design, the more designs I pumped out, People can't catch up. You're gonna become a mountain worth of content, whether it's graphic design, logo designs, web designs, motion designs, whatever it is, you're gonna create a mountain worth of content and they're never gonna be able to keep up with that. And you're going to be an inspiration and a leader in the industry if you're able to do that and focus on speed. The other way to out execute everybody else is more quantity. So like I'm doing, I'm leveraging other creatives on my team to be able to do more work and produce 10 times the amount of work. So when I post work, post stuff on my portfolio, a lot of the stuff you guys are seeing are not stuff that I designed anymore, it's stuff on my team. So there's no way, if I, my work's being replicated, there's no way that anybody's gonna be able to keep up with what we're doing because they'd have to keep up with the pace of four, five, six, or maybe even 10 people. So think about that when you're over executing is leverage the other people on your team, delegate certain tasks out within a project like logo design. There's a lot that goes into logo design research and planning. You can delegate these things out. You could speed up the process and get more quantity, which is gonna make it really hard for people to out execute you. The third piece to this and out executing them is skill. There really is very few things in life that beat skill. And I think the skill sets that you continue to grow in by watching more tutorials, watching more trainings, reading more books, pursuing more personal growth, you're going to become so skilled by not focusing on the negative, but focusing on the positive and complementing all of your gifts on top of adding more skills. So there's a lot of really good benefits to actually being focused on developing your skills and becoming more and more skilled in specific areas. But as I've grown as an entrepreneur and as a creative, I've learned skills in other areas that have made me even more deadly, like actually understanding how to write copy or how to do marketing strategy or how to do lead generation. There are very few people out there that have the width and the depth of skill that I have as a marketing agency, as a creative, and that is why I'm positioned where I am, making videos how I am, and I've built the following that I have. So this is something that I want you to take to heart as well, is think about speed, think about quantity, and think about skill. So I'm curious, I've shared quite a bit already, and we're gonna close it out here in just a minute, but what is your biggest takeaway so far? What has been most helpful for you? When you guys give me feedback and you engage with me, you let me know who you are, you say hello, or you even criticize me, I don't mind. I wanna hear from you because it allows me to make my videos better, increase my skill, and that's ultimately what I'm trying to do is I'm pursuing growth because the more skilled I become, the better I can serve you guys. So drop a comment down below and let me know. All right, the third piece to this is fundamentals. Now, what's missing from a lot of these people are the fundamentals. They're looking to you and replicating your work because they're missing fundamentals. They don't understand copyright. This is a great opportunity to talk about copyright, to teach copyright. We see people are, are stealing your work, then make a graphic or make an image or make a video or talk about copywriting. I've done this myself and it's actually helped a lot. So you wanna actually understand that you need to share the fundamentals of things with people so that they can get an understanding and they can build a foundation. The first thing, and there's three points to this, is they can't replicate the way that you problem solve. The way that I solve problems is because of my history, my life experience, the things I've done good and the things I've done wrong. And because of that, they're never gonna be able to problem solve the way I, I can problem solve. The context that I've been given, the mentors that I have, those have made me a unique person and the way I approach problems. And that is why clients seek me out because of my high level of skill, because of the people that I've sought out, which is another lesson for you. You need to seek out the best of the best. And that's why people are seeking out you because you're gonna be one of the best of the best if people are replicating you. Another piece of the fundamentals that they don't understand, and you may not even understand this yet, is when people are replicating your work, they're going to fail 
listen to me, they're going to fail in certain areas of replicating your work. They're not going to execute it perfectly. And the areas they fail in are opportunities for them to develop their own style. Just a quick story. I have mentioned this before. There was a guy, Andy Kitchen, who was a night nightclub, nightlife, bar, restaurant, flyer designer. He did a lot of amazing work and I replicated a lot of the stuff that he did, but there were areas of style that I just didn't have the same abilities or the same style in. And I, when those shortcomings or in those holes, I filled them with my own unique style, my own personality, my own experience, like a little bit of radio, a little bit of marketing and advertising. And I approached the way I laid my stuff out a little differently than he did. And so that made me unique. So this is actually a benefit. When people go to try to replicate your work, they're going to have shortcomings that's going to separate them from you. And that separation is going to help them develop their own style. So don't get intimidated by that. This is something that you should really take to heart. The third piece, and I kind of mentioned this briefly, is I want you to keep learning. You need to spend a significant amount of your time and you're on the right track, you're watching this video. You need to spend time learning and developing your skills so you can outpace everybody else in the industry. You look at people like Gary Vee, people like Grant Cardone, those guys are obsessed. Be obsessed or be average, right? Average sucks. And so you can take this opportunity to continue to learn. Do classes on Udemy and do classes on Skillshare. Do everything that you can, read books. One of the books that I would really like you to read and I think it would be really helpful for you and it goes into the context of this video specifically is a book called Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. This is a really good book. It's pretty short to go through. It's actually fun to go through. It's gonna set your mind right and it's gonna help you realize that nothing is original. If people are replicating your work. You should take it as a compliment and it's gonna really help you get a deep understanding of how you can implement some of those things and look at inspirations in your life and how that's actually fall, fallen into your work. And I bet you there are people out there that would say the same thing about you that you've probably taken their work as well. But the truth is, is you've developed your own identity, your own style with the shortcomings in there. And that's what makes your work unique. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't joined my community already, you're looking to level up as a creative web designer, motion designer, graphic designer, please check out the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook and make sure you drop a like on this video. We'd love to have you guys there. Hit the subscribe as well. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Until next time, I'm Adrian Boysell. And as always, keep looking up.